Plantar fasciitis is a very common condition, um, especially in patients that are getting a little bit older, maybe gaining a little bit of weight, a little bit more active. It's also more common in patients that have flat feet or a tight heel cord. Uh, the plantar fascia ligament is an elastic ligament. It basically stretches and contracts as you're walking. When you're sleeping at night, your foot's in a relaxed position, but the plantar fascia ligament actually gets tight and contracts. The most common uh, symptom associated with plantar fasciitis is heel pain after rest. Patients generally complain of pain when they first get out of bed, when they get out of the car, or getting up from the couch. It's a sharp shooting dull pain when you first get up. A heel spur may develop from a tight plantar fascial ligament. If the plantar fascial ligament is tight, what will happen is it pulls and pulls and pulls on the bone and actually creates a little bone spur. We diagnose plantar fasciitis generally from the history that the patient gives us, but we also use x-rays and diagnostic ultrasound to aid in the diagnosis. We always start with conservative treatment first, stretching, anti-inflammatory injections, physical therapy. We use something called a night splint that'll stretch the plantar fascia ligament in the evening, usually before bedtime. We use orthotics. Uh, there are some newer treatments for plantar fasciitis. There's shockwave therapy. There's extracorporeal pulse activation therapy. And we sometimes use cortisone injections. Our goal in treating the plantar fasciitis is actually to stretch out that plantar fascia ligament, regain that elasticity, and that would actually decrease the pain. Most patients should see a doctor if they have heel pain for greater than seven days and it's not getting better with ice or stretching or anti-inflammatory medications such as Motrin, Aleve. Prevention of plantar fasciitis generally can be done with proper shoe gear, stretching, a shoe insert or an orthotic will help decrease the likelihood that plantar fasciitis will afflict them. Physical therapy is an excellent way to alleviate plantar fasciitis. Uh, the patient generally would see a podiatrist to diagnose the condition, and physical therapy is usually offered to the patient as a first-line treatment or second-line treatment. 99% um, of the time, we can actually alleviate the pain without the need for surgery.